It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and I just had a cartoon paper clip pop up and say, oh. it looks like you're trying to host a radio segment. Would you like some help with that? <laughs> no, Clippy. I don't want help, and I obviously need to get a new computer. This uh-huh. Windows 95 thing is getting a little bit dated. Uh, you, they need to bring Clippy back. You haven't run an update in a while. No, so I, I haven't. Just. I should probably turn this one in, but yeah. we're going to do a Clippy-free edition of Whoa. What's on Your Mind, where we go around to figure out what all the hosts have been thinking about lately. Start Starting with Brooke. Brooke, what's on your mind? I almost lost all of my teeth. I'm not what? even oh exaggerating, you guys. I heck? went to the dentist to pick up a night guard. I've never had a night guard before. I'm mm. like a grinder and a clencher. You're a sleep oh, grinder. Okay. grinder yeah. So I go in and they're like, oh, it's done. And just pop it in. Try it on. So I pop it in and, and she's like, how does it feel? I'm like, well, it's kind of tight. You know, you can't oh, talk no. with these big things in your mouth. She's like, yeah. okay, looks good. Take it off. I'm like, it won't come off. You guys, oh, no. it would not come off. Oh, so no, she reaches like into my mouth and she's like, oh, you just pull from the side. Let me try. And she's like, oh, oh, God, oh, it's not oh, coming off. No, oh. they made it so then, then they call in the next dental assistant. So now there's two dental hygienists <gasps> in my mouth on each side oh, no. trying to pull this thing off. No. And I think my teeth are going to come out with it. It is no. so tight. It's like suctioned uh-uh. into my mouth. So then the dentist comes in. Now we're 25 minutes into this ordeal. It is a huge thing all over the office. He's like, well, I don't think you'll lose your teeth. I'll just have to cut this thing off. So then he starts drilling. And he's drilling the plastic, which is so thick. And he finally gets through. And you guys, it still is stuck. What? Even after he cuts it. Well, it's not wow. on your teeth right now, so is it? Then I'm like, well, how about some hot water, you know? <laughs> okay. And so she goes and gets these Dixie cups of hot water, you know, the blue Dixie <laughs> yeah. cups that they have at every dentist place. And she's yeah. like, try this. So I'm like swishing water oh. and try to spit it oh. out. Anyway, what after happened? 40 minutes, uh. the water worked. And it finally came off. Like popped off. Oh. And do you know how gonna... it ended? How? They're like, oh, you'll have a new one here in two weeks. And I'm like, I don't know if I want one. <laughs> oh, I'm never coming back here again. What I do don't know if I want it. It sounds like fun to me. Oh, my God. It was so frightening, you Jeffrey. Were, you were one step away from them calling in a construction worker with a yes! jackhammer. Like, yes! all right, let's get another guy in here. I was like, what would have happened if I put that on at home without trying it on at the dentist's office? Free veneers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah permanently. <laughs> There you go. Brooke got her so, mouth drilled by a team of dentists. Oh, my God. And lived to tell the tale. I hate dentists. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Do. I do. Right. Uh, Another reason. Yeah. I'm glad your mouth's doing okay today. Well, we're, uh, we'll see you in two weeks, Jeff. Okay. Jose, <laughs> yeah. what's on your mind? Well, I was on my way uh, to go get audio with Alexis recently, and I call an Uber. And if you don't yeah. know, I live right literally in front of a huge arena. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I call the Uber. I go downstairs. And when I go outside, there's traffic everywhere. Oh, uh, probably an event or something. There was an event going on, which I yeah. didn't realize. And the guy's there with his emergency. Right, I hop cool. in. Immediately, the guy yells at me. What? What? He's no. yelling at me, saying, Dude, do you live here? And I go, Yeah, I live right here. He goes, Why would you ever call an Uber during a concert? And I go, Oh, is oh. that what's happening? He goes, You don't know what's happening? Oh, he's mad at you. I go, no, I, I don't. He goes, you live right in front of an arena, and you don't know what's going on? And I go, no, I don't look up the schedule every night, and ah, I, I just, I need to go. Why don't you look up the schedule every because night? Is he, I just live there. Right? Is he driving at this point, or is he still just parked? No, we, we are just starting to pull out. Like, okay. Immediately when okay. I got in, he started to pull out. because He's we, just frustrated. He was blocking traffic. He should have pulled see. into the alley. Okay. Anyway, anyway, so I'm getting yelled at and literally tells me that living there, I should never call an Uber if there's oh. ever an, uh, an event at all. Oh. I go, well, I got to leave my house at some time, buddy. And so now you're arguing back you're and forth. You're literally arguing oh, no. to the point, guys, I almost, and I've never done this, I almost said, hey, can you just pull over, man? I'm going to get it. I'd rather give my money to another Uber driver. Wow. He was being, like, oh. rude. And he was like, yeah, oh. whatever. So awkward silence for, like, a minute. Uh-huh. We're halfway there. I've been in the car for five minutes. I'm about yeah. five, ten minutes away from Alexis on our event. And then he goes, well, what do you do for a living? And I go, oh, I'm a radio personality. Oh, no. Oh, no. For what? Brick and uh, Jeffrey in the morning. No, no. Oh my God, I love that show. No. He says, uh, Oh, that's my favorite show. So no awkward. way, you're Jose. And I'm oh. like, Yep. So then the other half of my He's ride. Like, well, why haven't you laughed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. If you're Jose. 
So the other half, he loves me. He loves all of you guys. He couldn't stop saying oh, how much so he loves everything. Oh, poor. Maybe he was just having a everything bad day. Everything was great. And so then he drops me off. And you're like, what and do you, I, how do you tip? I, exactly, bro. I'm like, what do I do? Do I want to give him the maybe, I don't know, one star, two stars, oh. and like no tip for being rude? Or do I go off the second half, and I'm like, he's a huge fan. Yeah. He was nice. Like tip Brooke him said, well. He right. could have had a bad day. So I'm a sucker, and I gave in, and I gave him five stars and a 20% tip. Yeah. But I feel guilty it about it. There it is. Because I feel like he just didn't deserve it. But yeah. <laughs> end of the day, you're a fan of the show. I'll always give you 20%. Oh. So that's my story. We can, we can be bought if you tell us we that you're a fan. We can, oh, yeah. 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 Just tell us you like Not us. for much. No. Either. <laughs> yeah. Alexis, what's been on your mind? Okay, you guys know I hate confrontation, like of any sort with anybody, <laughs> yeah. literally ever. Yeah. Um, so the other day I was at a coffee shop with my friend. We get like two coffees. It's like $15, I don't know, something like that. Okay. Yeah. We go back the next day, exact same order. I'm going to pay, and they're like, okay, that'll be $45. Whoa, what? Okay. Whoa. But I was like, For I know it's coffees? wrong. Exactly. I know it's wrong, but I don't want to like say something. No, Alexis. Because Alexis. there's like a line, Still. and there's like people. It and is like, not $20. And then what if I'm drink? wrong and they're not wrong? It was just so awkward. You're not so I go wrong. to do my Apple Pay and like I'm literally doing it. But then my friend did interject and say something to them. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But then it got awkward because the employee was confused. Then I was confused. And everybody, <laughs> it was just so weird. And I didn't pay it, but I was going to at the end of the day. Okay. And that is that is disturbing. I'm still okay. uncomfortable by the whole situation, yes. actually. And I wish I had just paid it at this point. But yeah. I just, you wish you I'm realizing paid. it's kind of a problem now. Yeah. yeah. And and anyways, if you ever see me somewhere, please don't try to upcharge me because I will. You, need, <laughs> you need a backbone. You're going to be like in surgery one day and a doctor's like, okay, we're taking out a baby, right? I'm, no, but I just, okay, it's yeah. better than saying something, you know? It's like, I'll just take it. So anyways, I almost bought the most expensive coffee of my life. Wow. Wow. Thank God you had your friend with you. I know. Yeah, right? That's what well, friends are for. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> all right, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? I'm just kind of in a complainy mood today, so I'm going to rattle off my <laughs> oh, top three let's complaints go for, it. for the week. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not anti this at all. <laughs> yeah. No, number one, I went to a climbing gym, and I could see oh. the one for, like, just kids only yeah. next to us. And the parents are so overprotective. They are inside the children's <laughs> climbing structure with their kids, oh, yeah. human shielding them yeah. the entire way. <laughs> yeah. Like you, it's like a McDonald's play place type thing, like uh, a Chuck E. Cheese type okay. play Got structure. It. It's not and like it's, a climbing wall. No, it's, it's like bouncy structure. Yeah, it's like half adults in there yeah. just shielding their kids from other kids. <laughs> yeah. Let your kids climb. Okay? okay. It's a padded structure. They'll yeah. be okay. Let them yeah. get jumped on. That's Second, okay. I have a bone to pick with the grocery store near me. Oh. Here we go. If you say your rotisserie chickens are going to be ready by 11 a.m. every day, stick to it. Uh-oh. Have them ready by 11 a.m. Don't make me show up at 11.10 to get Uh-oh. my ingredients for my homemade stew, and they're like, oh, sorry, Uh-oh. the chickens aren't going to be ready till 12.30 today. You, you needed pulled it's chicken really, meat. really early for a rotisserie. I have, yeah. I'm Football. making a stew. Okay. Yeah. It needs days, in or, okay. a whole day, in order to make the stew All for right. it. Slow right. cook process. And finally, I send out an email every Monday on this show asking certain people to help me come up with song ideas for the week. Uh-oh. Severely underwhelmed by the recent suggestions wow. uh, from I, I the people on the team. <laughs> Let me give you some examples that I've gotten recently. Okay. One person suggested a song about being nice to your neighbors. Aww, like I'm freaking Mr. Rogers yeah. or something, taking off my <laughs> shoes and singing about it. It's kind of boring. Another, another idea, same person wanted a song saying about the first FedEx delivery that happened 50 years ago. Oh. Okay. How did you do a whole song? Exactly. <laughs> That's really Talk I got out of song. a truck. The I person the behind package. both of those suggestions, Alexis Fuller. I did. No. Alexis oh, came up I with those ideas. I didn't even know I said those. So I'm announcing Fetish. it today. Alexis, you're out. Yes. Brooke, you're <laughs> in. You're on the song squad. It's so hard. I didn't remember <laughs> suggesting those. There's no option. <laughs> what about you? You do a song about blondes that can't say no and overpay for coffee. Oh. No. No. Brooke, you're right. out. Yep. Jose, oh, yay. Yay. You don't want to I'm helpful. All right. yay. I'm helpful. That's what's on my <laughs> mind. Big changes coming all over the place. Oh, yeah, God. they are. Text in 78592. Tell us what's been on yours. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.